Hi, welcome back to my channel. As you requested, I invited Rekha Hanabishi to help us in our today's lesson. You can always request an anime that you want me to invite as a guest for our succeeding lessons. Just visit the community tab of our channel and comment your suggestions to my current post there. In our previous lesson, we learned about the different parts of a dictionary. If you failed to watch our video about it, I put its link in the description box below. By the way, I would like to ask a small favor to you. In order for me to sustain the growth of this channel, please do not skip the ads that will appear in my videos. Thank you for always supporting my hard work in making my video lessons. Please complete watching our videos up to its end. I always add some activities and seat works at the end part of my videos to help you master the lesson that we are discussing. I also add at the end of the video all the shoutouts as my appreciation for your comments in my videos. I will mention and congratulate those who were able to finish the video and get a passing score in our seat works. Just comment the score that you'll get in the comment box down below. If you also want me to shout out your name in my next video, just leave a comment down below. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video as your support to my channel. You can also share this video to your friends, share the happiness, and most importantly, subscribe if you are not subscribed yet to my channel and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. For starters, let's have a spelling. I want you now to get a pen and paper. I'll give you 20 seconds to prepare yourself. Spelling number one. Spell the word necessity. Necessity is the fact of being required or indispensable. When you say necessity, it means something that you should have in order to live. On the other hand, need is different to necessity because you just need that something because you want it. In other words, when you say you need it, you can still live even you don't have that thing. But if you say it's a necessity, you cannot live without it. For example, eating healthy food is a necessity. To spell inseparable. Inseparable means unable to be separated or treated separately. People think that lovebirds are inseparable, but actually, lovebirds do not have to be kept in pairs to lead happy lives, nor will they die if they are parts from their mate, though most will certainly miss the company of its partner. 3. Spell Earthquake Earthquake is a sudden and violent shaking of the ground, sometimes causing destruction as a result of movements with the Earth's crust or volcanic eruption. An earthquake occurs when two blocks of the Earth suddenly slip past one another. The surface where they slip is called the fault or fault plane. The location below the Earth's surface where the earthquake starts is called the hypocenter, and the location directly above it on the surface of the Earth is called the epicenter. 4. Spell Endanger Endanger means put someone or something at risk or in danger. Example, pandas are endangered species. As of 2020, there are still only 1,864 left in the wild. And then last, number five, imagination. Imagination is the part of the mind that imagines things. Example, she's the girl who existed only in my imagination. Now, let's check her work. Here's the answer key for our spelling. Done checking, then let's move on. Context clues are important words or phrases in a sentence that helps in identifying the meaning of difficult word or items in a sentence. They provide further information about a word or phrase that helps the reader understand its meaning. Context refers to the parts of a piece of writing that precede or follow a word and contributes to its full meaning. Context clues? Sounds familiar, right? Yes, we already discussed context clues in our lesson number 5 and 7. If you failed to watch our video about it, I put its link in the description box below. You can also check the playlist section of our channel. 
there you can watch video lessons that I organize according to their topic. Well, anyway, let's move on. There are different types of context clues. First is the restatement clue. When an author uses these types of clues, he or she will say the same thing twice, once with a more difficult word and then again in a more simple way, often write in the same sentence. If you don't understand a word in a sentence, just keep on reading. Our restatement clue may be coming right up. Example, Rekha tenaciously attacks Tokia Mikagami with his flame power. He keeps on holding Tokia's Ensui until his flames evaporates the water sword. In our example, tenaciously is our unfamiliar word. And as we keep on reading the phrase, keeps on holding Tokia's Ensui until his flames evaporates the water sword, made us understand that tenaciously means to keep a firm hold of something or to be very determined, not easily giving up. Likewise, if you're not an anime fan and had never watched the anime Flame of Rekka, you can easily grasp that Ensui is a water sword as you keep on reading the sentence. Again, this kind of clue is an example of a restatement clue. 2. Antonym or Contrast Clue These types of context clues give us hints to the meaning of words by telling us what they are not. Often the word pot is included in the sentence to tell us that an opposite thought is about to be presented. That opposite is the antonym we are looking for. Example, Rekha valorously saves Yanagi Sakusita. Large steels are falling, but he showed that he is not a coward and ran to save the girl. Valorously is our unfamiliar word, and as we continue on reading, we encounter the word coward. The situation depicts in this sentence that there are falling large steels, and the word but helps us determine that coward is an antonym of the word valorous. Through this, we now understand that valorous means showing great courage in the face of danger. Again, this kind of clue is an example of antonym or contrast clue. 3. Definition or statement clue. It is a type of context clue that provides direct statement or meaning of the unfamiliar word. Example, Fuko Kirisawa's Fujin is very destructive. It can cause great and irreparable harm or damage. In this example, the meaning of the word destructive was already provided. Destructive means can cause great and irreparable harm or damage. Again, this kind of clue is an example of definition or statement clue. Or example clue. It is a type of context clue that provides readers with varying examples to allow them fully examine the unfamiliar word. Words like including, such as, and for example, point out example clues. Example, Rekka's flame power can alter its shape. For example, Naidare is Rekka's fireball, Saiha is Rekka's sword of flame, Komura, flame whip, Setsuna, flash flame, Madoka, barrier, and Rui, illusions. In the sentence, the word alter is our unfamiliar word, and through the examples given in the sentence, we now know that alter means change or cause to change in character or composition. Again, this is a kind of example clue. 5. Cause and effect or reason result clue. It is a type of context clue that explains the reason and the result of an event or action. Words like because, since, therefore, thus, so, etc. may signal context clues. Example, Domon Ishijima was able to shatter Seiko's solid armor because his strength and punching power was doubled by his magical weapon, Ring of Saturn. In this example, our unfamiliar word is shatter. Through the reason stated in the sentence that his strength and punching power was doubled by his magical weapon, Ring of Saturn, we now understand that shatter means break or cause to break suddenly and violently into pieces. Again, the example we had is an example of cause and effect or reason result clue. 6. Comparison or sameness clue In comparison clues, the author uses words and phrases that have the same or similar meaning as with the unfamiliar word. Words used are like, as, similar to, in the same way, likewise, resembling, to, and also. Example, you will be perplexed by Kaoru Kogone's Kugan Anki. If you try to use it, you will be puzzled just like what you feel when you solve a Rubik's Cube. In our example, perplexed is our unfamiliar word. When the two objects stated in the sentence were compared, the word perplexed was used for Kaoru Kogone's Kugan Anki and the word puzzled was used for Rubik's Cube. Therefore, we can conclude that the word perplexed means similar to the word puzzled. They were both very complicated to use. 
Finally, number seven, inference or general text clue. This is a type of context clue that provides the meaning of unfamiliar words that can be inferred or guessed from the description of the situation. The author provides non-specific clues, often spread over the sentence or number of sentences. In other words, these types of context clues are little more difficult to analyze or describe. They usually require readers to look beyond the sentence they're reading for understanding, sometimes even at the entire passage, the topic of the piece, or the illustrations. If other more specific context clues are missing, looking for inference clues is your best option. Example, Reka has an artist's flame power. When he discovered that he can produce flames, at first, he got scared and it was not easy for him. He had a hard time in taming his flame dragons, especially Satsuna. He also been to difficult situations and got hurt just to acquire the flame dragon's favor and enhance his flame power. Thus, he keep on doing his best until he fully mastered his flame power. In our example, Arjus is our unfamiliar word. As we read the sentences, you might have observed that specific context clues were missing. Yet, if you keep on reading, we can infer that Arjus means involving or requiring great effort and that it was very difficult and tiring. Again, the different types of context clues are 1. The statement clue 2. Antonym or contrast clue 3. Definition or statement clue 4. Example clue 5. Cause and effect or reason result clue 6. Comparison or sameness clue and 7. Inference or general text clue Remember that in order to determine the meaning of an unfamiliar word, just read the context very carefully and if you keep on reading, you can always encounter clues given within the sentences. Now, let's have an activity. In our today's activity, you're going to read the sentences, then choose the letter of its type of context clue. 1. Mr. Fry is quite affable. In fact, he reminds me of Miss Baker. Do you remember how kind she was? Which of the following is its type of context clue? A. Definition or statement clue B. Comparison or sameness clue C. Antonym or contrast clue or letter D. Inference or general text clue The correct answer is B. Comparison or sameness clue. Yes! Mr. Fry was compared to Miss Baker, and affable means friendly, good natured, or easy to talk to. So the word kind has similar meaning with the word affable. 2. You don't need to worry about talking to Mr. Fry. He is an affable principal. Which of the following is its type of context clue? A. Definition or statement clue. B. Comparison or sameness clue C. Antonym or contrast clue or letter D. Inference or general text clue The correct answer is D. Inference or general text clue yes! You already knew the meaning of the word affable in item number 1 and as you read item number 2, other specific context clues are missing you have to read the sentences very carefully to put the clues together. And the clue that you have here is within the first sentence. You don't need to worry about talking to Mr. Fry. Why would you worry if you know that he is a kind person, right? Again, this kind of clue is an inference or general text clue. 3. I miss Mr. Fry. Our new principal is cranky and hard to talk to. Mr. Fry was so affable. Which of the following is its type of context clue? A. The statement clue B. Cause and effect or reason result clue C. Antonym or contrast clue or letter D. Inference or general text clue The correct answer is C. Antonym or contrast clue yes! Cranky is an antonym of the word affable Four. Mr. Fry is an affable principal. He is pleasantly easy to talk to and always friendly. Which of the following is its type of context clue? A. Definition or statement clue B. Cause and effect or reason result clue C. Example clue 
or letter D, comparison or sameness proof. The correct answer is A, definition or statement clue. Yes! The meaning of the word affable was already given, pleasantly easy to talk to, and always friendly. 5. Sometimes studying for math tests feels futile or useless because my scores don't seem to get better. Which of the following is its type of context clue? A. Example clue B. Cause and effect or reason result clue C. Restatement clue or letter D. Definition or statement clue The correct answer is C. Restatement clue yeah! In this item, the same thing was stated twice once with more difficult word, which is futile, and then again in a more simple way, which is the word useless. And they were both mentioned in the same sentence. For me to know if you really learned in our today's lesson, let's have a seat work. I believe you already have a pen and paper with you, so let's start. For your today's seat work, you're going to read the following sentences, then match it to the type of context clue that it described. Write only the letter of your answer. I'll give you two minutes to answer this hit work. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause this video. your work. Here's the answer key for our today's seat work. All set! I hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson. I hope that now you know the different types of context clues. Please comment down below the score that you get in our seat work. If you pass, I'll post a shout out of you in our next video. Speaking of shout out, as my means of showing my gratitude and appreciation to all of your comments in my videos, I would like to post a shout out to the following people.
Thank you for all of your encouraging and positive comments. Your comments are important to me. By the way, the sole purpose of me making video lessons like this is to help children be able to study at home. So in order for this video to reach as many children at home as possible, please share this video to your friends. And again, to help me be encouraged in making video lessons like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!